Welcome back to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. I hope you guys were enjoying my guides and I decided to do a guide on another little thing uh, which is related to Cecil's treasure maps. Uh, the artist is located in the main town that you basically first come across and he is in the center with all these paintings. Please proceed to talk to him and then of course buy out all the treasure maps. After you have bought the maps out, you should now right click the first map and it would show your destination on your map. My map is slowly filling up with secrets. You would also get a quest progression in your Source Hunter's journal. When you take a closer look at your map, you would notice that your marker is actually quite hard to see. The marker is this tiny chest right here, which is the location of the very first treasure. Now, let's quickly go to that marker. Sadly, I have already previously discovered this chest. Uh, but where this chest stands, there will be a mount here that don't, doesn't require almost any perception because that you have a map. It would automatically uh, find the mount here that you would need to dig it up. Unfortunately, I already have done it before, before I made this video. So I'm not able to show you dig out the mount. But from what I remember, I did obtain uh, two orange items out of this chest you know and it's actually quite amazing loot and completely worth 119 gold now let's move on to treasure map number two now the quickest way to get to map two is to teleport back to Sicil and of course go back to your inventory and right click the second map and then select use my map is slowly filling up with secrets now you would see a second marker appearing here. This one is located right over here by this portal here. But for the sake of the guide, I'm gonna take a run there, but speed up the run so you guys could see me getting over there. And voila, you have now discovered the second treasure. And inside, as you can see, a blue item, level 1, a painting that you could get good money out of it, and a chicken, uh, chicken foot. Again, you could save your character before you open this chest, once you dug it up to, you know, improve your chances of getting a better loot than what you got initially. Once you obtained map 1 and 2 treasures, of course it's now time to move on to map 3. Now I've back, uh, teleport back to the Cecil town. Again open your inventory. Find your th uh, third map. There we go. And again click use. My map is slowly filling up with secrets. And now you should have discovered another location on your map. And this time, it's gonna be a little more complicated and a little further to get to. Again, this video, I could either teleport here, waypoint of Silver Glen Road, or I could just run there. Considering the fact that if you're doing this early on, you most likely don't have this port, so you're gonna have to run there. Again, I'm gonna run there and speed up the run so it doesn't take long, but you guys could see the path.
once you've discovered the mount, which is again located over here, or next to the left of this tree once you arrive at it, you of course proceed to dig it up. And voila, a level 9 skill book and a level 1 green that you can use to sell, you know, definitely worth a lot more than 100 gold that you invested into buying a map. Now, of course, we're now going to move on to map 4. Now, just like the rest of the map, on map 4, again, you would need to go back to Cecil. And open your inventory, right click map number 4, and click use. My map is slowly filling up with secrets. Now your map should have opened up another location. This time the location is over here. Here's our beloved next treasure chest in this corner. This time around you can start from the eastern part of Sicil and head down. Of course you could also use the Sicil Village Villa Teleporter but I am again going to assume that you're a brand new player and yet to discover this teleporter so I am just gonna run through it and again speed up the process. Unfortunately, I have already discovered this chest previously and I will not be able to show you what loot was in it, but the loot in this chest is in one of my previous videos that I have archived where I've basically compiled all the hidden chests and what's in them across the entire game that I've been able to discover. Uh, just for the sake of this guide, you know, the chest is located right over here once again. Once you walk up to it, you'll find this mound, dig it up, and there'll be, you know, two, three good items that you could definitely use. Now, let's move on to map 5. Once again, port back to Sicil, open your inventory, and right-click map number 5, and click use. Now you should have had another one open up. This one is located right over here. As you can see, we will now proceed to travel this way or around. You can obtain it through this way, but we're gonna just take a route around or you could also just teleport right over here and run around. But again, I will assume that you have no teleporter over here and I'm gonna take a run towards it. Out of all maps, this one is one of the most trickiest because the hidden mount is located right over here. There are two ways of approaching this way, uh, this mount. I will demonstrate both ways, one after the other. First, I will start with personally easiest way. First, you take a character that can teleport and you run up over here to this rock tree area. Then you click teleport, you grab one of the characters, and you throw them on the other side of the rock. Then that character can proceed to dig up the mound.
as you can see, the loot is not bad at all. Now, I'm gonna now demonstrate the second way of you can obtaining this uh, mount legitly, well, the technically the intended legit way of the game. Now, the second way is a little bit harder than the first way because it requires for you to have about a 9 perception or more. Now, please proceed into the church. Uh, if you could either clear it now or if you have already cleared it and backtracking like I am, it would be already clear. I never bother with the key because I really technically enjoy teleporting my characters in and out of things. But in this case, I'll still need to do it. Grab a character with the highest level of perception and throw them inside. Of course, I'm gonna pick up the key real quick. Ah, wrong one. Whatever. Once you have enough hot perception, you will see that there is now, right over here in this corner, there is now a hatch that's now available for you to see. Go into the proceed into that hatch, and it will actually move those your own characters that are outside the gate there also. Now proceed to the hidden mount. And dig it up. This time around, it was an orange, three green, and a blue. As you could see, these chests progressively get better, better, and better in loot. Well, from what I can tell at least. Now, let's move on to map number six. And the last but not least, the treasure map number six. This one is also like number five. It would not be easy for you to obtain because it would require to you to clear through uh, some areas and uh, underground passageway, a uh, north tunnel located in the north. But let me just show you guys. Again, you click inventory, locate your last map, map number six, click and use. And now spirits. you will see that this treasure map is located right over here now there's again two ways of obtaining it if you have the Cecil statues portal the talking statues you can just teleport and voila you've gotten the chest or it would require you to go through a northern tunnel that is located right over here if I'm not mistaken from what I remember but then uh, once again I will basically speed up the process of me walking to it and getting to the treasure so it's gonna be nice and quick. Now, once you have located this cave, which is again, so you could see from the map, located right over here right away you have to either have cleared through it or need to clear through it this is the one that is the robot where you have the remote control and you can obtain the achievement there is all i have a video available on how to obtain the achievement how to just simply kill the boss and you know all the other nice ways now once you're inside over here you have to run around uh, you know either do the quest whichever means you want then run around and go into this cave exit right here once you're on the other side it doesn't take much longer for you to run up to the statues But once again, I'll speed up the process. Now, our wonderful chest is over here to the left. Which, of course, I have already discovered. 
from my previous time when I was here cause my character has a very high level of perception. There was this also chest right here. The loot of this chest is located in my video on all the hidden chests and mounts that I found in this game. And this would have been your map number 6. The reason why I find this map a little bit more complicated than others is because you'd have to uh, defeat the robot and if you're doing it naturally without using the remote it could be a quite of annoying fight but if you're using the remote and going for the achievement this could be quite an easier easy task to obtain and on top of that there is a portal gate right here back home or back to anywhere you want and you could return here at any time well i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial video on all the treasure maps again i apologize that i couldn't show you all the loot that i would have been able to obtain from these chests but you know now you have a little bit you know some surprise for you left to see what's in those chests that you might get what you might get something good something bad who knows i hope you all enjoyed my video please click like please click subscribe and please stay tuned for more Divinity Original Sin videos. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful night.